today we will continue with our user registration. We are going to refactor our code and prepare the proper response from our API. But before we start, remember to subscribe our channel and turn on the notifications with the red button down there to not miss any of the future videos. and welcome in the next episode. Today we are going to continue with our Node.js course and with our user registration. In the previous episode we added our user to the database and today we are going to refactor some code and prepare the proper API response. Are you ready to start? Okay, so what we need to do now is uh, we have to refactor a few files which uh, we've created in the previous video and we will start from refactoring our user because we would like to return the user object with the selected values after our API call uh, after the registration. For that uh, we need to open our user service. So let's go and so let's open user.service.ts And we will start from this if statement inside the else statement and we will start by refactoring the user and creating the new object. So uh, let's go to if new user and in this place where we are calling the create account from account service, let's assign this value to the constant called account and let's add their await. And when this is ready, uh, we will have our account which is created and we can pass this account to the accounts array and return it with our user. After that, let's create constant accounts and this will be this array with one account that we we'll created a few seconds ago. And below that, let's create the response object which will be returned from our API call. Okay, so uh, in this response object we will add user object, token and success. Uh, our token will be this JVT token we've created above. Uh, success will be true because it's done. And inside our user, we are going to pass ID from new user.id, username from new user.username.trim because we don't want it to return like very, very long. Email from new user.email.stream and accounts that we set it up above. Okay, and then we would like to return this response. Let's delete this return new user because we don't want to use that anymore. And in case that new user 
won't exist, we want to return a success false and a message that during creating the user something went wrong or something similar. So, uh, when we are in the point of error handling, then there is another error that we would like to handle differently. And it's in the if exist. So, we would like to return success false and a message that user understands that his email is already used, so it can't be reused. So, let's change it to return success false and message this email already exists or something similar. Cool, that's it in our user service file. Now we can go to our accounts.service.ts and do changes here. So what we need to do here is similar thing that we need to uh, do in our user. So we need to create the object that we will return. because we don't want to return like a whole the new account. So let's prepare this object. If new account, then return account from this object which we created above because the values will be the same and ID of the account. So ID is new account ID. Cool, if that's ready, we can open our user controller.ts file and inside this controller we are also going to do some changes. And we will start from importing rec uh, from our nest.js common and adding this rec as response, res, sorry, uh, before our body. Okay, and now we will return the response using this value. So rest status, HTTP status, okay. And after that, we are going to return our user, our result actually in a JSON format. Okay, that's cool. And right now we are ready to test our API and our response. So let's open any tool you have for testing your API, I'm using Postman. And inside the Postman, let's create the post call. My backend is on localhost 3000 users register. And let's pass the JSON params. So username will be John. Some fake email. And the password.
And voila, here is our response. And there is one more thing that we need to do. And it's about uh, disabling the code in the accounts controller. Uh, in previous lesson, we created accounts controller for the future possibility of creating another account by the user. But we didn't create any guard there, so we can prevent that unauthorized user will create another account for some different user knowing his ID. That's why we should comment out this piece of code right now and, and until we won't create the guard, it should stay commented and we are going to do this in one of the next lessons. So let's go to the accounts.controller.ts file. And let's comment out this piece of code. Cool, so it's done for now, we've finished with user registration and we'll go to next features in the next lessons. Thanks for watching! And that's it with our user registration. Now everything is ready to use and in the next video we are going to create login and lots of different exciting features. I hope you will stay with me and join next videos. If you like the video, remember to give us a thumbs up and leave a comment. And remember about subscribing this channel and turning on the notifications so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!